Okay, so um, now that you've gone through your daily dial-in, let's say, for example, that you feel like you haven't met any one of these criteria, in particular, your timing and your yield. So there are a few ways that we can help uh, fix this. And the first thing we're gonna do is gonna go straight to our grinder. So the first thing we're gonna look at today is adjusting your grinder. Now, there's two ways to adjust it. You can either go finer or you can go coarser. The best way to describe either of those is finer is more is 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 more like if your coffee was more like sand and quite compact, it's going to be harder for water to travel through it. And so therefore, if you're going for finer, you're going for the coffee to take longer to extract. So if your extraction was about 24 seconds, you're going to want to make your coffee finer. And then with coarser, it's more as if the coffee was more like rocks. So water is going to be uh, going to be able to go through the rocks a lot easier than it is with sand. And in that case, that that you would want to uh, look for a coarser grind when your coffee is more at about 33. Um, is more about 33 seconds. So um, I'll show you how to adjust your grinder just now. So at the moment it's on about a three. And now if we wanted to go to more of a finer coffee, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate our grinder this way. And to rotate our grinder, there's a little tab just on the back here. We're gonna press that down with our thumb. And then this crank, we're just gonna rotate like this. Now, these lines just here, those are equivalent to about uh, two to three seconds um, in your coffee. So for example, if we've gone from three all the way to let's say the third line just here, you can put that to an equivalence of about, uh, about six to nine seconds of extraction just in here. So as I said before, so if you've got, a, if you've got an extraction of about 22 seconds and we're aiming for 28, um, what you would do is probably rotate it about two to three lines um, to see if you can get a 28 second extraction. So once you've done that one there, that's to adjust for finer. Now I'm gonna show you how to do coarser. So again, we're gonna rotate it just back to the three. Now to get a coarser grind, what we're gonna do is we're also gonna rotate again, put your thumb down just on the back here, and we're gonna rotate a few seconds that way. Same thing as before, each of the lines is equivalent to about two to three seconds of extraction. So if I've rotated at three, and let's say we got a, an original extraction of about 36 seconds, those three is gonna take between six and nine seconds off that, and so we're gonna be around 30 to 28 seconds. And that's all we're aiming for just there. All right, so we've just adjusted our grinder now, and we wanna test it on our machine. Now, before we do so, what we want to do is we want to grab our group handle just out of our machine just here and again we're going to give it a wipe with a dry cloth and we're going to go to our manual grinding and what you need to do is you need to grind out about 10 seconds worth of coffee now that might take more than two baskets that's okay you're just going to empty that into your knock box Awesome. And once you've done that there, you're now ready to test. The reason we do that is because there's still coffee that's sitting in the grinder uh, according to the old um, setting that your grinder burrs were at. And now that you've adjusted it, you just need to get rid of all that before testing it again. Now, when we test, what we want to do is we want to test it three times with a double dose. Uh, and then you get an average of those three times, of those three extraction times. And if you find that you're bang on 28 seconds, Perfect, if not, and you feel like you need to adjust it again, we're gonna go through the same process again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the grinder, we're gonna grind out 10 more seconds manually, and then we're gonna test it three more times again till we achieve what we're after. Okay, so we've now gone through our three steps of our daily dial-in. We've got now 23 grams of um, coffee out of our grinder. We've got now 60 grams of yield out of our extraction, and we've also had our 28 second extraction. So now that we've got all those things achieved, we're now gonna set our predetermined dosage times. So to do that on this machine, we're gonna click this button just to the right of the manual dosing button here. And as you can see, we've got our two dosing setups. So as on here on our double dose button, we've got 5.8 seconds. And what we're gonna do straight away is we're gonna test that one out and see how much grammage we get out of that one. Now to go back to your homepage, you're just gonna click home. Awesome, and to do this, we're gonna turn on our, uh, on our scales, pop our, bar, pop our group handle on there, tear it till we get to zero. And we're gonna click our double button and just pop that under there. Awesome, so then we go immediately to our scales, check our grammage, we're about 20.4. So that tells us straight away that we're a little bit short. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna let that, pop that into our, uh, into our knock box. 
We're going to, again, just make sure that that's all teared at zero. And we're going to go to our grinding time and we're just going to up it to about 6.2 seconds. And then we'll test that one. So click to our home, ready to go. Back on our scales, 22.9. So pretty much exactly on 23. And as we spoke about before in our first part of the daily dial-in, anywhere between 22.5 and 23.5 consistently on an average is exactly right. So just to test this one more time, we're gonna chuck that straight into our knockbox again. And we're just gonna test it two more times just to get an average of about 23. So again, just under there. Straight on our scales in about 23.1, so great news. And one more, just before we finish up. Brilliant, chuck that one on there. And 23.4, pretty happy with 23.4. So we're getting an average of about just over 23, which is exactly what we're after. Um, and that's all you need to do to adjust your grind.